my beautiful Taurus and welcome to your January love reading stick around towards the end Taurus I will be getting each zodiac signs future actions towards you for the month so let's get started into it and see what is your theme cards for love for this month Taurus first card out is received you also have crossroads and self-worth. All right, Taurus, so it looks like you have to make a decision this month regarding your love life here. I definitely feel like for a lot of you, you may have been at this crossroads for quite some time, or you may have received the download that you should make a decision for a while. Um, but it looks like you haven't necessarily made a decision here in terms of your love life. Um, some of you, you could be having to choose between two people. Some of you could be having to choose just in a general sense if, if you want to continue something or not. Um, some of you could also be at a crossroads on if you even just want to get yourself back out there with love. Nonetheless, it definitely looks like you may find yourself at a fork in the road in terms of having to make a decision here. But you have it does look like you are favored to make a decision. I don't know what has been stopping you, but... Let's see if we can figure that out. We have simply love with the three of cups. So it could be reconciliation in the air or a dating situation that you're in. We have daydreams and decisions with the seven of cups right underneath crossroads. There you go. And we have blossom with judgment. So you have to make a decision, Taurus. You do. Because I do feel like the indecision is causing delays for you. Somehow, some way, whether in connecting to the person you do want or having this connection move forward, whatever the case may be, I definitely feel like you are strongly in a position to make a decision here. And I feel like the longer you stay indecisive, the more things will not move forward here or move forward in general. So I'm not necessarily sure you're each and every one of you are going to have a different type of decision making process. So let's see, Three of Cups to the Ace of Wands. So there's definitely somebody interested in you. They're attracted towards you. They want to continuously date you. They want to come back into your life. Um, could have a new person that's interested in dating you. We have the Eight of Cups and we have the Nine of Wands. So I do feel like for some of you, you could be holding on to somebody or continuously giving your energy to somebody. And you could be up in the air on if you should walk away from that. Or disassociate here. With the Nine of Wands. I mean that's not the card I was really looking for. For there. Uh, I mean. It doesn't really look like you're making a decision. Hmm. Let's clarify this here for you Taurus. Somebody wants in. Somebody wants to continue this. Someone wants to start this. There it is, the Fool, the Tower, Six of Swords. So there is something that you know that you should release. So possibly this new individual here is who you want or who you don't want. It's like you feel if you disassociate or walk away, then you might feel like you destroyed something or messed up something. But she, uh, Taurus, how confused are you? Because y'all are confusing me. You're either going to move on from someone or stick around. Basically, that's it. Emperor, Six of Wands, the Temperance card. I feel like if you walk away from this person, there could be some surprising attention you receive elsewhere. Um, but I definitely feel like there is a position of you taking your sweet Taurus time and deciding something. And I'm telling you right now, the longer you wait, the longer you're just kind of delaying your own blessings. So whatever you're up in the air about doing, whatever you're, whoever you're up in the air about, I would decide soon. Because it's like the longer you wait to decide, it's like the more you are repeating a cycle from the past with judgment here. 
So either someone wants reconciliation, someone wants a totally new fresh start with you here, or someone definitely wants to move this connection forward. <sighs> but... Hmm. Someone is causing this connection to wait or be delayed. Now, Taurus, if you're like, yeah, Miss Machista, you're right, but it's not me, then this is totally reverse and backwards. And I do definitely feel like this person may continuously keep this connection lingering for a good portion of this month. If this is you, it's guiding you to make a decision. Choose to fully embrace this person or to not. So that's what you're getting, Taurus. In terms of zodiac signs in the spread that could be around you or in your chart, you have really strong Aries, you have Scorpio, you have Sagittarius. So now we are going to look into each zodiac sign's future actions towards you for the month, Taurus. Take what resonates with this portion and leave the rest behind. Do not forget this is for the month, so come back at the end to see if these future actions really resonated. Let's see, we have Aries towards you, the Six of Wands. A lot of you are going to be receiving a lot of attention and acknowledgement from an Aries. They see you, they hear you, and they definitely want to move this connection forward. I feel like they also want more of your attention as well. Next we have up is Taurus with the Sun. So it looks like there's going to be some clarity coming out in this connection. Some things are going to be very, very, very clear now. Let's see what they are, the Page of Pentacles. So it's very clear that a Taurus definitely wants to rebuild here or start something with you with the page of pentacles could also be an apology coming in from a taurus next up is gemini with temperance so it looks like gemini is taking their sweet time with making a decision on this connection so for some of you if this was backwards this could be about gemini as well um but i definitely feel like gemini is waiting it out nine of cups i feel like eventually you'll get wish fulfillment from gemini but for a majority of the month, it looks like they're being as patient as possible with their actions towards you. So they may be very minimal or none at all until more or less the end of the month. Um, next up is we have Cancer with the Tower. So some sort of unexpected energy coming in from a Cancer. A Cancer is definitely going to surprise you somehow this month. Next up is Leo with the Five of Pentacles. So you may be feeling extremely neglected and or left out by a Leo and or... You and Leo may have decided to leave this connection in the past. Next up is Virgo with the Ace of Wands. So new communication, phone call type of energy coming your way from a Virgo. If you haven't heard from one, you definitely will. Um, if you're already connecting to a Virgo, I definitely feel like you two could be getting more intimate with each other or closer with each other, could have more flirtation. Next up is Libra with the Knight of Pentacles. So it looks like Libra is taking their time with definitely making a decision on this connection or taking their time with offers to this connection. They feel like there is a very high possibility you two could be stable, but they're just not moving that fast. Next up is Scorpio with the Judgment card. So very strong indication of Scorpio coming back around into your life, wanting a second chance. Some of you, this could be a Scorpio that just wants a chance with you. But nonetheless, definitely some sort of decision Scorpio's making to come in. Next up is Sagittarius with the devil. Could be dealing with a pretty toxic and or manipulative Sagittarius. I feel like they may try to tempt you back into their life this month or somehow, some way, continue be, continuously be toxic towards you this month. Could just be that there's a really strong sexual attraction between the two of you, um, but I do feel like they're slightly um, need to move out of that unhealthy habit. Sorry, the street cleaner's really loud. Okay, next up is we have Capricorn with the Nine of Wands. Some of you may be feeling blocked out by a Capricorn or feel like your Capricorn has a really strong wall up. Nine of Wands type of energy, I almost feel like for some of you, Capricorn just not changing their ways. They feel like they don't have to. They feel like who they are and how they are is fine. And they could just be very stubborn in doing anything different for the connection or doing anything different at all. 
Um, next up is Aquarius with the Three of Cups. Strong indication of a reconciliation or starting to date an Aquarius here. Some of you may be going out on a date with an Aquarius or they will ask you to do so. And lastly, we have Pisces with the Two of Cups. So it looks like you are going to be... Um, not you are going to be. It looks like Pisces is highly interested in coupling up with you. They feel like they're you that you are their soulmate. They feel like you two are meant to be together. And I definitely feel like they're going to take some action in making sure you two either stay connected or are connected. So let's make sure everyone's out here for you, Taurus. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, Taurus, thank you for being here and for watching. Um, other signs are out for January. If you're interested, you can find them on the channel. You are also at the end of their all signs portion. If you want to compare cross watch or watch a uh, different chart placements of yours. If a specific Zodiac sign is not out yet, do subscribe and ring the bell to all. And I'll see and talk to all my beautiful Taurus very soon. Have a good month. Bye now, Taurus.